Ha ha. Hey, what is going on, crypto people? Listen, this is a very, very interesting time to be an early adopter in this new asset class that is the digital asset space. Holy freaking moly. What's going on right now with the XRPL? Mickey B. Fresh is in the news. An awesome, awesome, awesome video. By the way, uh, a little under the weather, just to let you know, got some issues going on with the mouth. So if it sounds, if the video sounds a little lispy, yeah, dealing with some stuff. For sure with the mouth. But I wanted to get this video out because Mickey B. Fresh put out a really great video on YouTube. I'm going to share it with you guys. You got to check it out. The market is doing what the market does. Listen, you got to know about the uh, Arthur Brittle vision for the XRPL. You want to check out this video. I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to go over the Medium article that Mickey B. Fresh put out. Hashtag B freaking louder hashtag be louder all right guys so listen this is your xrp ripple daily news in around zero to ten minutes let's go over the market according to coin gecko the one and only screw coin market cap the total cryptocurrency market cap is at 1.09 trillion bitcoin dominance is at 47 point four percent bitcoin is trading at twenty six thousand five hundred seventy three dollars ethereum is trading at fifteen hundred and ninety dollars and XRP is trading at 50 cents. Sideways movement is just what it is, fam. It's just sideways movement. Interesting tweet came out um, from this guy here. Uh, Legato Orchestra on X at Legato, L-E-G-A-T-O Orchestra, capital L, capital O. And that... The developer says XRP AMM auction mechanism explain and why it saves you. No, too long, didn't read. You need to read it all. He says, no, too long, TLDR. You need to read it all. Okay. Okay. Now, listen, I read it. I'm not going to go through it here, but Mickey B. Fresh does cover it in this video that I'm going to share with you um, as well, just to let you know. So here's a video from Mickey B. Fresh. The title of the video is Arthur Brittle. Arthur Brito's message to the XRP community, liquidity flywheel, tokenized liquidity, the XRPL ecosystem. If, there, if there's one person in the community when it comes to um, uh, the price of XRP, um, the value of the protocol, and, and, and kind of where it all kind of comes together, for me, is, is from Mickey B. Fresh. I think he is more spot on uh, than any content creator in the community. That's just my opinion. More spot on than any of them, and, and I love a bunch of them. Uh, I, I even love the the entertainers because I need to come into the space and be entertained at times with things like SHA-256 being patented by the NSA and the four Satoshis being known by the Department of Justice. I need that kind of entertainment. <laughs> but when I want to level up, I, I turn to Mickey B. Fresh for sure uh, because I think he's spot on, spot, spot on on so many things. This is a, from a uh, uh, apparently a letter Mickey B. Fresh found somehow from Arthur Brittle to the XRP community. To the community. Many of you are concerned about what impacts these sales will have on the market. What affects XRP price long term is adoption of the protocol and growth of the ecosystem. You know how we say on this channel, we need more choices, not less choices. Well, we need more people adopting the protocol and more people on and entering the ecosystem. Not just one, not just Ripple. We need more. We love that Ripple is one that has adopted the protocol. We love that Ripple is one that is involved in the ecosystem, but we need more than one. We need more than one. Arthur Brito goes on to say, as the value of the protocol, he put in parentheses, i.e. utility, more people using the protocol. For whatever the, whatever the utility case is, doesn't matter. It's people using the protocol, whether it be an NFT or whether it be a decentralized exchange whether it be a, a, a platform uh, like Aave. I always forget what Aave is. I forget what it is. I don't know why I forget. There's a term for what Aave is. But whatever, it's something like that. Doesn't matter. Use cases on the protocol. Using the protocol. 
As the value of the protocol increases, so does the value of XRP. The reason why Ethereum is the monster that it is is because people are utilizing the protocol. They're utilizing the protocol. I may have to pause this because Miss Crypto sees called and hopefully she'll call again. So anyway, so let me read that again. As the value of the protocol increases, so does the value of XRP. As the value of the protocol increases, so does the value of XRP. Massively, massive point. A critical ingredient to ripple to ripple success. Ripple, a business utilizing the protocol involved in the ecosystem. One company. Just one. Just one. Got to remember that. And we want more companies utilizing and adopting the protocol and involved in the ecosystem. That's what we want. That's what we want. So let me, let's take a listen to Mickey B. Fresh right here. The, he talks about the value of the protocol. And he says the value of the Ripple protocol will come from its utility. So the use of the network as a distributed exchange because that's inherently what it is, and a payment execution engine that can atomically swap between currencies because it's a ex distributed exchange and a payment network with an accounting, with a distributed accounting database. Now you put on top of it an intelligent liquidity aggregator that uses the most advanced machine learning. Uh, Kubernetes, cloud-hosted, serverless microservices that can intelligently route payments through the cheapest path and deepest liquidity. And this is why positioning XRP to be the asset that they flow through is going to drive the volume, but that won't drive the price. And as you saw in the last video, and if you didn't see it, you definitely want to see the liquidity flywheel in the Prisma video. I'm going to go over that multiple times because it shows how the price is going to rise. I have not seen anyone to date explain and show exact proof of this is how the price will rise. All I say is utility, the, the utility here, banks want it at 100, banks need it at 100, the Fed needs it. What's well, that nonsense? But utility alone is... Was oh, a good second, I got to pause the video for a second. But now. All right, sorry about that. Guys, I checked on her. She's all good. Let's continue listening to Mickey B. Fresh. All about routing it through primary liquidity. But from the core documents, Prisma is powering ODL flow and is going to provide connectivity to all of the exchanges and aggregate liquidity with a single API. In addition to that, we're going to be building upon Prisma. So listen, so this is what he says here. Uh, make it be fresh here where he got the document from. So right now we're building Prisma. This is an unnamed or redacted person who's talking in this particular talk. Um, but in any case, so right now we're building Prisma to work within the ODL flow, within ODL. So Prisma is going to provide connectivity to all of the exchanges, aggregate liquidity, provide a single API to our ODL infrastructure. But in addition to that, we're going to be building upon Prisma so it can intelligently route transactions between venues and ultimately like drive um, liquidity on the platform. Prisma is gonna be a game changer. It's gonna be part of the whole AMM the ODL, all of that, Prisma, they're going to all interact and be interoperable. And it's going to be a game changer for who? You and I. You and I. It's going to be the game changer. Why? Because liquidity pools. And we're going to be able to participate in that. You don't have to be an accredited investor. You and I will be able to participate in this liquidity pool. XLS30D, unleashing the power of the AMM liquidity pools on the XRP line. This is from Mickey B. Fresh on Medium. If you're right, if you're a reader versus a listener, if, you, if you're learning is more on the reading, check out Mickey B. Fresh on, oh, I'm not following, on um, Medium. 
The title of this particular article is XLS 30D, Unleashing the Power of AMM Liquidity Pools on the XRP Ledger. <laughs> Uh, dear fellow XRP community members, are you excited to embark on a revolutionary journey <laughs> that's set to propel the XRP community on a revolutionary leap forward? <laughs> Brace yourselves because we are heading into the deep end, the introduction of automated market making, automated market maker pools on the XRP ledger. And it's nothing short of a game changer. Ripple CTO and XRP ledger co-creator had this vision for over a decade and now it's finally here. In this blog post, we'll explore the significance of the AMM pools and how they will transform the XRP ecosystem. So XRP enthusiasts, let's embark on this journey together. You guys know I shared this particular thing he's about to share on a video from, uh, 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 I don't know, I guess you would call it an article. The title of it was Steps Towards an Ecology of Money Infrastructures, M Materiality, and Cultures of Ripple. This is by Ludovico Rella. Uh, we found this interesting here. He says, uh, very similar, he's talking about the distributed currency exchange built in the XRP ledger. The distributed currency exchange built into the XRP ledger. He's talking about the tax. In order to work as a bridge asset, XRP requires a market and liquidity of its own. Of its own. People will not use an asset until a market has developed around it, and such a market will not develop if people do not use the asset. Right? Massively important. Participation in this space is massively important. Gone are the days of having 100% of your stuff on a ledger buried in the backyard in a vault in Iceland. <laughs> You're going to have to take a certain percentage of that and participate in the ecosystem. You don't have to take 100%, 50%, 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%. But if you want your XRP to win, participation is, is paramount. Paramount. What sets the X, X, uh, the XLS 30, uh, 30D AMM liquidity pools apart is their innovative approach to maximize the revenue potential earned by liquidity providers, people who provide liquidity, people who are in the business of participating, people who are in the business of not waiting around and letting everybody else do the work and just hanging out, making videos. AMM provide clear incentives for LPs in the form of passive returns and is more user-friendly. AMM, AMMs can always provide markets even for illiquid or long-tail assets. By integrating AMM and LLB, liquidity order based books, based DEXs, we aim to enable the XRP to utilize the XRPL to utilize the best of both DEXs for liquidity providers and traders. This is from David Schwartz, obviously. David Schwartz has said harvesting of volatility for yield. And his Twitter thread below, he sheds some light on how that's related to the continuous auction mechanism. David is actually responding to my tweet in Twitter thread explaining the continuous auction mechanism to someone. And he flat out says there are two things going on. Two things going on. The auction mechanism is selling arbitrage slots for LP tokens. Those LP tokens are destroyed, increasing the fraction of the pool's assets existing liquidity pool tokens represent. This is where the permanent loss thing kind of fits in for you and I as liquidity providers. And that's why they're able to say little to no in permanent loss. Little to no. Look, in permanent loss. At the same time, the pool is both executing a trading strategy and charging a spread when it provides liquidity. This results in an increase in the size of the pool, which also increases the amount each LP token can be exchanged for. Besides earning fees, this is, um, it can be fresh now, besides earning from fees generated by the AMM from traders swapping, 
The XLS 30 AMM offers liquidity providers two uniquely novel ways to earn additional revenue. In addition to the fees for swaps, that's a the swap trading fees is just a standard thing. A, any AMM can do that. It provides two uniquely novel ways in addition to that to earn additional revenue, harvesting a vi volatility for yield, the continuous au auction mechanism, which winning bids from arbitrages pay with LP token, harvesting volatility for yield. The AMM enacts a trading strategy that earns a spread from its or offers on the deck. This is where the XRP's ultra low transaction fees and blazing fast three to five second settlement really shine. Over a long duration, the AMM continues to capture small amounts and the spread over and over. And this value captured is actually added to the pool's total value. The AMM's pool's policy is designed so that it will never accept offers that decrease the total value of the pool. Let me say that again. The AMM's pool's policy is designed so they will never accept offers that decrease the total value of the pool, only that keep it the same or increases the value. As volume increases and other volatility increases, these profits the AMM earn from its trading strategy are amplified. This is only possible because of the trio of technologies that are working in unison. That was the word I needed, Mickey. Thank you. I said interoperable, but in unison. And the XLS 33 AMMs have been designed to always enforce the policy. And it's cold. And additionally, Schwartz clarified that the AMM's auction mechanism facilitates the sale of arbitrary slots for tokens, slots for tokens provided by liquidity providers. Consequently, the fraction of the pool's assets represented by existing LP tokens increases. Furthermore, the pool efficiency executes a trading strategy while charging a spread during the quiddy provision. These practices leads to the expansion of the pool and an augmented exchange value for each token involved. The long and the short of it, and again, I highly encourage you to just go to medium.com, search Mickey B. Fresh, or search the title, Mickey B., and it'll come up. Again, the title uh, is XLS 30D, Unleashing the Power of AMM Liquidity Pools on the XRP Ledger. Very awesome, awesome read. Great job, Mickey. I'm about to reach out to Mickey, have him come on the show. He can share with the audience as well uh, once again. But this is where the power is, my friends. The power is in participation. It's always been that way. It's in participation in the ecosystem. The greater the adoption of the protocol, the greater the value of the asset, of the native asset on there, which is XRP. Really, really exciting time. I'm excited about uh, Flare Networks and F Assets. I'm excited about um, uh, the XRPL Ledger and the AMM. I'm excited about Dexfi.pro when it gets on and gets activated, where I can be both a lender and a borrower with my assets. I'm um, really looking forward to doing that. Shout out to the fam from Dexfi.pro. I think that's going to be an absolute game changer with that lending ability for sure. That's what the wealthy do. Wealthy will lend out their money just to let, just to let you know. They lend out their money just to let you know. It's not all their money. It's a percentage of the money, but they're making, they're putting the money to work. And I'm excited about taking advantage of that with the digital asset XRP as well. All right, guys, listen, this wraps up the XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope it has been of value to you. Pray for me. Send some healing, some healing prayers and some healing buys my way because I don't like... Uh, this lisp, and I don't like not being able to do my live streams. I miss you guys. All right, guys, this wraps up the XOP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope it has been of value to you. If it has, do me a favor. Hit that like button. It's one of the greatest ways that you can support the channel. If you've been hanging out watching the Crypto Siege and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the hangout. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this one like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. That old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though. Because you and I, we're already winning. I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.